So we have two of these coats. And this one is Lord Astor's. And you can tell because it has a star right here. And Black Sash has, um, uh, oh, it's right here. Um, oh, no, this is not it. This is an understudy coat. Black Sash has um, a skull and crossbones. It's a good look on you. But yeah, it's good. Oh, originally, we had um, men's uh, Marines jacket, and we sort of gussied it up. We tied it up with a lot of trim. Can I scoot in that room while you're doing this? No. Please. Thank you. Good idea to have teacups with um, rubber duckies on them. Um, and then uh, this is, you know, our million dollar idea here. We have um, sort of Gilbert and Sullivan feel, all the opera house feel for these, and then everyone turns around their fans for the okay. showstopper moment. Um, they used to do a lot more of this, and they sort of floated out like mermaids. Mm -hmm. um, but our stage got a lot smaller, so they don't do that very much anymore. <laughs> Maybe okay. someday when we get a, when we go on tour, maybe we'll have a bigger stage and they won't bump into each other so much. <laughs> and costumes on the set. Do you have a favorite um, scene um, in terms of just the visual splash of it all? Um, yeah, well, uh, I mean, there's my favorite scene. Yeah, and it's part, both for the costumes and the show in general, um, is when Molly goes down into the bowels of the ship. Mm -hmm. um, and they're moving the rope around, and um, the actors, the ensemble, is really becoming the different parts of the ship, the walls, um, and then they'll morph into like a bunch of gamblers or a bunch of people torturing a poor sailor or a bunch of people singing a hymnal. Um, and and then they're a wall, and they're a wall that moves, and um, just seeing them all lined up from the back, the on, you know. Everyone loves a nice, big, like, splashy mermaid, but for me, like, the, the show is really about the ensemble and making a cost costumes that were incredibly individual to each person, um, but also uh, something that could be believable as a sailor, as a native, as an orphan, as, you know, uh, just sort of everything that they play. Um, and when I get to see them all lined up, I can see that even though it's just a bunch of guys and they're all wearing pants and they're all wearing boots and they're all wearing vests and they're all wearing button-ups, it's like the same thing, but everyone is different. 